Most of the time, embroidery is done on fabric. Today, I'm gonna to share five different sources for embroidery fabric. Welcome to Eva to Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So if you are a hand stitcher, you are always on the lookout for new projects and ways to enjoy your embroidery. So when choosing fabric, there are a lot of options. So here are five places that you can look for fabric. The most obvious fabric to use for a hand embroidery project is the fabric that comes in an embroidery kit. So kits are great opportunities for beginners to get everything they need in one little package and it usually includes fabric, thread, and often even a hoop. So this is perfect choice if you don't have any supplies and you just want to get started stitching right away. But once you've done a couple hoops and you might even begin to have a collection of thread, then you might want to start looking into getting your own fabric to be able to stitch other projects. So where else can you get fabric? Well, the obvious choice is at a quilt or a sewing shop. Of course, they sell fabric, but they sell a lot of fabric and it can be overwhelming when you go in and see all the selection that's there. What fabric should you use for embroidery? Well, in a fabric store, look for fabric that is not stretchy. So if you look at it and it clearly is stretchy or it looks like something that would make a t-shirt or um, gym wear, something like that, that's not going to be a great option for embroidery. Look for something like a, if it's labeled as a quilting cotton, that is probably a really good choice. Look for something that is not stretchy and it feels pretty sturdy in your hand, but not so stiff that it's like a canvas bag or something. Something in medium weight that's not stretchy is probably gonna work out really well. As I said, quilting cotton is a good choice and quilting cotton comes in any color you can imagine and also any print you can imagine. So if you want to embroider on white, green, purple, whatever, they will have that fabric, but also experiment with embroidering on prints because that can be a really fun thing to do. In a fabric store, fabric is sold on a bolt. And so it's something that looks like this and your fabric is usually 40 or more inches wide. So this is doubled over. So it's gonna be a wide piece of fabric and then you um, just say how much you want to get off the bolt. And you can get usually even um, a fraction of a yard. You could get 12 inches, 18 inches, whatever. But your piece is going to be 40 or more inches wide. And so um, even if you get half a yard of fabric, that is probably gonna be enough for more than one embroidery piece. But if you happen to see little pieces of fabric, and often, especially in a quilt shop, these will be in baskets placed around the store for impulse buys. Um, if they're labeled as fat quarters, then that's a piece that is around 18 inches by 24 inches. So this can be the perfect size for an embroidery project. So look out for that. That is probably something that will work really well if you're at a fabric store or a quilt shop. But the third place to look for fabric is in your own closet. Don't overlook fabric that you already have. In your house, you have lots of things that are made out of fabric. You have clothing, you have um, pillowcases, sheets, linens, towels, lots of things made out of fabric and those are all things that can be embroidered on. So you have a choice. You can choose to embroider on it or you could just use that fabric. If you have an old pillowcase, you could cut it up, embroider on that piece and hang it on the wall. Or you can embroider on a tea towel and keep using that as a tea towel. You probably have things at home that are starting to wear out. Well, remember, even if it's worn in one place, there's still lots of other fabric that could potentially be used for an embroidery project. 
Embroidering onto something you already own is one of the most economical ways to stitch. The fourth place to get embroidery fabric is in a thrift store. Secondhand stores are full of things made out of fabric. So next time you're in one, just take a look around. In the craft section, sometimes there will be pieces of fabric from other people. But beyond that, there's also the same thing clothing, linens, many things that are made out of fabric that you could use. So check in clothing that is not your size as well as bed and table linens. And sometimes you'll find just the thing that you were looking for. I still regret one time I left a thrift store without buying a large cream color, 100% wool blanket. And I didn't get it I wasn't really interested in it as a blanket, but it would have been perfect for embroidering on. So when you're in a thrift shop, keep your embroidery projects in the back of your mind. Then the fifth place to get embroidery fabric is at just any other store that sells ready-made items. So this could be a discount store, a dollar store, or it could be a high-end department store. All these places sell fabric items. So just like the things that you would find in your closet, or at a thrift store, sometimes you'll find a beautiful brand new item in a store that is something that you can use for embroidery. Pillowcases, clothing, towels, these are all potential projects for you. Just remember that if you buy something new, you should probably wash it first so that if it's going to shrink, it'll shrink before you start stitching on it and then you won't need to worry about it. When you start to realize all the different options that you have for embroidery fabric, you'll start to see possibilities everywhere. So be creative and have fun with your hand stitching. For embroidery tutorials and inspiration, you can check out my website, evitastudio.com.